Man, Japan, it's 2022. It's still no public trash cans. But do I have the solution for you? Hey everyone, welcome back to another Where Do I Put This Trash episode. We're the hosts. My name is MJ. My name is Adam. Welcome back to the MJ and Adam show where we invite you to be our friends, join this English conversation that's natural, it's real, and hey, you can learn not only like grammar and cool phrases that we use naturally, but feel English because English isn't only about learning grammar and pronunciation. Of course, those things are important and they're Mm -hmm. good, but the feeling of English is another thing that we're going to help you out with. Today's video, we're going to be talking about Japan's trash can dilemma. If you are someone who is not from Japan and you have visited Japan, you might realize that there's no trash cans anywhere. Yeah. This is something that I definitely noticed because where I grew up, there were public trash cans everywhere. If I had garbage, look around. Oh, there's one like on the street corner. It, it's, it's funny though. Not haha funny. Not haha funny. I like interesting, <laughs> strange, weird, funny that there are trash cans in America, Canada, but there's a lot of litter on the ground. Japan has no trash cans and it's clean. I don't know what, how that works. People would be like, oh, what do I do with all my trash? But then, like you're saying, Adam, right. there's no litter anywhere. Right. I mean, there is. There is. Especially around like the highways, like car yeah. areas. Like, yeah, it still happens. It's hard but- to find, though. Even like big bustling cities where right. you would think there'd be a lot because there's so many people. Yeah. There isn't. Right, right. Okay. So as a foreigner, as a Westerner coming to Japan, enjoying walking around Japan, like learning about the culture and like seeing the sights and stuff, I would have some food or I have some snacks and I'd be like, what do I do with my trash? I'd have to wait until I find another convenience store to get rid of my trash, to dispose of my garbage. But now everyone... There's a new kid in town. There's this Japanese company that it makes bags and they have made this bag that is a mini garbage can. Uh, But it looks like a pretty cool product where it's Mm. just like a passport size, kind of bigger pouch that you can put in your pocket or possibly in your bag. Mm -hmm. And it contains uh, a few different zippers, pouches that you can possibly add like uh, masks or or tissues into. And then there's a main compartment that has this like plastic trash bag, like liner so that you, that's where you would put your, your maybe sticky trash or kind of like wet uh, trash depends on what kind of garbage it is. Yeah. So Adam, this is a really cool thing. And I'm sure a lot of people could find a use for having this because I think everyone that is even living in Japan, who is Japanese will find themselves with trash on them. Guaranteed. Adam, let's hear from you personally. When are the times that you have found yourself with trash? <laughs> Every day after work. Uh, when I grab something from the convenience store on the train, yeah. just before getting on the train and like walking to the train station, I'll shove a few gummies in my mouth because I'm tired and I just want to eat something sweet. Uh, sometimes I, I eat my lunch in the park. Yeah. I'll grab a drink. I make a sandwich. I'll have some plastic. In general, every day I'll have some kind of garbage on me. Some Mm, piece of trash that I need to throw away, but can't. Okay. Okay. So let's, let's go with the, uh, the gummies. What do you do with those? Uh, just put them in my backpack. Basically the problem with that is that I usually forget them. Like the empty wrappers, even though I'm at home, I, I throw my bag down on the, on the floor. And just go about my usual routine. The next day, when I'm, you know, coming back from work again, I'll find this neat old rapper with this new rapper. <laughs> and then yeah. I'll end up remembering and I'll put them in my pockets. So now I have garbage in my pockets. But okay, at least okay. I remember to throw them away when I get home. All right. Uh, how about you? So it definitely does happen, but yeah. I believe... I kind of am careful of what kind of trash it's going to be. Okay. So if it is something that is going to be sticky or mm-hmm. wet, like, you know, if we have like a small bento or, right. or I get like an onigiri or something mm-hmm. that's got like some nice juicy karage in it, then I'm like, I'm going to possibly get a plastic bag from oh, wherever okay. I'm like the conveni or the supermarket, wherever I'm buying this item. Yeah. And I know this is going to be my trash bag. Right, right. So then I'm ready. And I think it's a lot of people do 
you're ready for that garbage that you have. If it is the case of like a wrapper, like a gum wrapper or something, Mm -hmm. or like just like a hard candy kind of wrapper, then it's something that can easily just like fold up. I usually do like the little like fold and like tie if it's small enough, Yeah, (laughs) you know, (laughs) and I could put that in my pocket. You know, that little, that little pocket that you have in your jeans (laughs) that is like so small and people are like, what do you put in there? I'm like, I guess you could put like 500 yen in there. Like that's a cool little like nice pocket. You could put your trash in there too. (laughs) Stay small, stays concealed. Gum wrappers. Tiny. Yeah. Out of the way. And it doesn't take the space of your actual pocket where you want other things. Right. More useful things. Uh, And if it's anything bigger, I would just put it in my bag and Hopefully that's that my bag that I have has extra compartments that are a little small that I can just dedicate for garbage because living in Japan over 10 years, I've gotten used to the fact that, yeah, you got to hold on to your trash until you find uh, a, another dustbin right. or a trash receptacle. <laughs> so many different ways to say it, garbage bag or Some, garbage can. Sometimes you can get lucky, though, and, and find them actually in, you know, the station like the station I get Ooh, off yes. at near my house, there's garbage cans there or the restroom, the washrooms at the station. Sometimes they have little garbage cans there. And I know it's not for paper because there's no paper towels usually in the washroom. Mm, so so okay, I believe okay. it's just for, you know, small items of garbage. Anything. Yeah. True. But I, I heard recently that because of, you know, the current situation and because of, I guess, I don't know what it is, the economy and stuff like that. The amount of garbage cans in the stations are going to be reduced or removed completely. Oh, yeah. And I think that's to take out that cost of having somebody clean. I guess it is what it is kind of deal. It is. Yeah. 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 So then here you go. This thing, this this kind of new product Mm. might be an ideal thing for more people now. And as the future rolls around. Right. Because if there's less place to hold your to put your trash. Uh, where you're going to be hanging onto it for longer than you were in the past, right? Then maybe you want something like this. Would you get one, Adam? Would you Would you think that you would need a special pouch just for just trash? for the trash? Probably not, because I don't mm-hmm. really carry that much in general, like other than receipts and small tissues and things like that, which they just live in my pocket until I find garbage at home or the wrappers for candies which also can either go in my backpack or my pocket. So I don't feel the need or the urgency to buy it. If I'm at the convenience store, sometimes I'll just throw all the trash away there, which is pretty easy. So probably not for me. How about you? Yeah. No, not for me. (laughs) Cause it's like, yeah, I already have some sort of trash can or, or bag prepped for it. And it seems like, yeah, it can be like a place for your garbage, but it also is like a place for band-aids, maybe medicines. True, it's an true. extra pouch yeah. that you can like put in your bag to put things in. So it's right. like, I don't need more bags, bags for your bag. in my bag. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I understand the point of it. Like it's for, for garbage, mm-hmm. but then it's just like, yeah, as long as I'm careful of what kind of garbage I'm right. handling and putting in my pocket or in my bag, yeah, I think we're all good. I think if I was traveling somewhere, like on a train going a long distance, then it would be good because I I do like need stuff for tissues and, you know, extra masks and papers and stuff like that. If you're hiking, yeah, that's another thing. If you're picnicking somewhere and you just have like a karage wrapper or something. I mean, I hate smoking, but those little pouches for like portable ashtrays, I thought were such a cool idea. Oh, yeah. Yeah. More people need to have those. But maybe just for trash. That's it for this one, everyone. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Yeah. <laughs> Leave us a comment down below. What do you think of these pouches just for trash? Would you buy one? Would you not? Mm. Like the video and subscribe to the channel if you found this one interesting. We'll see you on, on the, the next, next step. step.